What's up everyone, Sixpenny here, and I am going to show you all my updated skills, archetype, and golf bag, including club fittings and everything. In today's video, the bag that I'm taking into the start of the competitive season in TGCTours.com. So if you don't know what TGC Tours is, that is the competitive ranked scene in the PGA Tour 2K23 community. You have a weekly tournament each week and based on how you perform, you either move up and down in the different divisions. It is a blast. If you want to play in the competitive scene in this game, Go on over there, check it out, tgctours.com. You do have to register on the website and then you have to sign up for the qualifying event. You will play the qualifying event in the TGC Tours Special Event Society in game. All you do is just search TGC Tours and join the one that says special events. But today, I've received a lot of questions overall in the past three weeks, like what bag are you gonna use from a competitive standpoint starting week one with qualifying? So. Let's start. Let's go ahead and get on with it. If you get some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps these videos. And subscribe if you want to see more. I will be playing my TGC Tours rounds live over on Twitch, but I will also be posting them over to my second YouTube channel. So if you want to watch my competitive rounds, get on over there, subscribe to Gamer Ability 2. Link is in the description and be ready for my TGC Tours rounds this week. You're going to see my qualifying rounds posted there to Gamer Ability 2. You're going to see my True Sim rounds as well there each week so a lot of fun times ahead but let's go ahead and dive on in everybody so starting out what's important to know is the going to the archetype so my favorite archetype is the rhythm archetype that's specifically the one that fits my play style i miss a lot of tempos now keep in mind i'm showing you all my golf bag that i have at this point is it the best golf bag in the game for everybody? No. Is it one that fits my play style? Yes. Is it fully complete with gold fittings? No. So I still do not have a lot, all, all the fittings that I need, but I do have a good balance right now and really like the way my golf bag is looking. Uh, so keep that in mind as you're watching this. There is no single best loadout. Like there's loadouts that are good for your specific play style, but that might not fit somebody's play style. You know, if you don't miss tempo, you don't need the rhythm. You could just go crush the ball at the powerhouse. Rhythm is what I like. So rhythm archetype. Now, as we look at skills, this is again, these are my favorite skills and they're based on my specific play style. So as we take a look at the skills here, I'm going to go column by column each club type. So we have driver level three trailblazer. Normal shots receive a swing path boost off the tee. We have Fur Finder level three. Normal shots receive a shaping boost off the tee. And then we go over to the fourth column, off the deck level two. Normal shots receive a lie range boost off the fairway. Aerodynamics level three. Normal shots receive a flight boost off the tee. T and Crush level three. Normal shots receive a power boost off the tee. And then finally, Take the wheel level three. Normal shots receive a transition swing path or timing boost. I have timing. So keep in mind the passive skill, it changes based on what level you are. My favorite for all of them is timing. So basically the final tier level three on all of them. Uh, Forrester level three, in between level three, Metalhead level three, Higher degree level three. Now the difference is putting. Putting is level two because I want putt weight. I don't want more row on a putt. That's what row level one is. Putt weight level two is great because putt weight is the hardest things for me for putting. Putt path, it, putt path is actually really forgiving in this game compared to the last game. If you really struggle with getting your putt straight, you may want to spec into the level three putt path. It depends on if you're struggling with distance control, which is putt weight, hitting the perfect power on your putts, or you're struggling with missing it because you're shanking your putt left or right, then you'd want to be level three here. So as we move on, so the, I would recommend level three on every single passive in the final column. Uh, so that is the way I did it. And you can follow my same exact spec. You can just take a picture of this and be like, I'm going to spec out the same so that I can, go, I can go level three in all these passives. So now for woods, I didn't like any of them. I, the only ones I like for the woods is, pass, is the passive. The woods, they're just, I did not 
like any of them. So that's a personal preference. Maybe you will like some of these. I didn't like any of them. So now hybrids, Gusto level two, normal shots receive a flight boost from the high, heavy rough. Keep in mind, a lot of you all do not play with hybrids. I'm one of the few players that actually loves the hybrid. Very few players out there that do. If you don't use hybrids, don't spec into this. Choose an iron or woods, right? Or spec into something else. There's no need to spec in hybrids if you don't use them. So then we have the level three spin class. Normal shots receive a spin boost from the fairway. And then of course the passive skill I already talked about in between level three. As we move to irons, agrustologist level three, normal shots receive a lie range boost from the heavy rough if you score a bogey or worse times two. Now this I do not activate very often, but there are, I do bogey multiple times per round and when it's active, it actually really helps a lot. I didn't like any of the other iron specs besides the passive metalhead level three. And now for wedges, perfect pitch level three in column two is such a good one. Pitch shots receive a spin boost within 101 yards of the pin and it's activated by scoring birdies. Like this level three one is actually really good. I love this perk. And then we have dialed in level three in column four. Chip shots receive a timing boost within 26 yards of the pin, which has been key for me because the activation at level three is easy. All you have to do is land within 13.7 yards of the pin. Like, and to deactivate, you have to have poor timing three times in a row. So that is a really useful perk right there. And then of course the higher degree level three to boost my timing passive passive skills are always active if you all did not know that they are always active now putter i specced into column two short stuff level two receive a putt path boost on the green but most importantly column four go weight level three receive a putt weight boost on the green and you activate it by sinking two putts between five and ten this one's really good and then putt weight the final column, putt for dough, level two, and then I have level two because I want to focus on putt weight. So there you have it. I've been receiving a lot of questions about the skills. Those are my favorite skills at this point in time. Now, would I could I respec them in the future if I take the hybrids out of my bag? Yes. And I will talk about why I like the hybrids here as I go over the golf bag. But those are the skills I have, but keep in mind, customize it based on your play style. If you're struggling on a certain area, change a few of them. You don't have to do this exact thing, obviously. This is what fits my play style. My play style is different than your play style. If your play style is the same as mine from watching all my videos, be like, okay, I wanna use the same exact skills. But I doubt everybody's play style is, is gonna be exactly like mine, right? So now we go into the golf bag. I really like my golf bag. So right now, I'm running the default ball, and the reason is I've spent the most time with the default ball, but I've been going back and forth between, I've tested a lot of them. You're going to see a lot of players, a lot of the top players in the game using the aviator ball of legendary and purple variety, especially if they're using a powerhouse loadout because they can blast the ball. So Aviator increases your carry club distance. You know, if you're gonna use the Aviator, you better be practicing with it because it does change all your club distances, but you can absolutely blast the ball with the Aviator. So another ones that I've seen pop, people are liking are the red line. The purple red line is a really good golf ball to decrease your roll and bounce and really a lot of spin. I love the red line golf balls. I, I need to spend more time with the golf balls before I take them into a competitive round. Right now, if, if I take one into a competitive round this week, I will be taking in the Friction Blue. So Friction RV One Pack would be the one I would use this week if I do end up going with the ball. So it, it doesn't change the ball tremendously, but it does add a little bit of spin, 29, a little bit of flight, a little bit of distance to the club, a little bit a bounce which you know it, it cancels out with the spin but the row decrease is huge minus 40 row so although you have a little bit more bounce from the default ball you you have much less row and i really like these balls this one was actually recommended to me by uber so uber is one of the top players in the world and uber's like these are very affordable they don't change it too much and they're you could use them in every single round because they're that affordable so these are the ones i might be rocking uh here once i play a little bit more with them 
so i know the golf balls are hit or miss for some people some people really like them some people don't like them my thought on it they're in the game they're a key mechanic in the game they're gonna be used competitively whether when online rank drops and also in the tgc tours competitive ranked they're here to stay uh, I, I think every, everybody will be using them. Uh, all the top players will be using them. I think a lot of people are just going to have to be like, finally use them. And I can tell you this, I've used a lot of them. I play better with the default ball because I've used it the most. Just because you have a bit better golf ball, the higher level golf ball does not mean you're going to play better. The reason I'm rocking the default ball probably for TGC Tours is because I score better with it. I'm not used to the other balls. Now, I'm leaning towards the friction blue and we will see as qualifying comes around if i will actually use that but there you have it so now moving on to the actual golf bag uh, that i will be taking into the competitive scene first in week one now the golf bag is going to be ever changing as i get more fittings and better fittings and i will update you periodically throughout my tgc tours season but as we take a look at this just to run through my golf bag makeup, right? What clubs am I carrying? I'm carrying a driver, a three wood, a three hybrid, a four hybrid, a four iron, five iron, six iron, seven iron, eight iron, pitching wedge, gap wedge, sand wedge, and lob wedge. Now, what's important to keep in mind, a lot of people will not be using the hybrids. I am one of the rare players who loves the hybrid this year. For whatever reason, with the swing animation for the hybrid, I hit more perfects with my hybrid than any other club in the bag. I have tested out the three iron. Three iron is a great club, but the my three hybrid I hit more perfects with. So will I change this out throughout the season? Possibly. If I change it out, I will likely take the three hybrid out for an iron, for a three iron. Uh, now a key om omission is I don't have a nine iron. I my gap between my 8 iron and pitching wedge my 8 iron flies 155 my pitching wedge flies 139. i hit partials with my 8 iron to help with that gap or i do a lot of shot shaping and loft on my 8 iron or i just deal off the pitching wedge that gap really rarely gets me in trouble uh, so that is I'm, I'm okay with that gap in my bag that's my biggest gap that gap and also the gap between my three wood which is carries 249 and my three hybrid which carries 219. so now i'm going to talk about the more specifics in my golf bag the club distances the different stats of each club now keep in mind on this screen the distances showed here in the middle that's showing the distances based on your your main archetype it does not change these numbers do not change based on fittings the nub where you find out your distance is when you hover over the club and look at the top right of the screen and it shows the distance so you can see the fittings that I have on each club on the screen, but I'm going to hover over my driver. Here he's 293 yards, has an 84 power, 78 timing, 83 swing path, 76 transition, 75 shaping, and 77 lie range. That is the driver I'm taking in. There's two power fittings and one distance control fitting on the club. Now, your member. There's millions and millions of different combinations of fittings in this game. Each fitting is unique with the stats that it boosts. Your your shape, your fittings are not going to have the same boost and changes as, as me, right? There's going to be subtle differences between, unless you have, happen to have those same exact power and distance control ones. I mean, if you have legendary ones, you might have a few better ones. Uh, so as we go to the three wood, my three wood carries 249. It has a distance control fitting and two shot shaping fittings takes its power to 72 91 timing 84 swing path 76 transition 81 shaping and 72 lie range moving on to the three hybrid and four hat four hybrid which a lot of you will not be carrying but i love the hybrids my three hybrid carries 219 and it brings a 56 power 100 timing 94 swing path 66 transition 80 shaping and 73 live range these are why these are my favorite clubs in the bag they actually have the same my three hybrid and four hybrid have the same exact stats my four hybrid carries 208 and they both have a swing path head uh, the other two fittings are timing so the shaft and the grip 
Now, as we move on to my irons, my irons are all the same besides my four iron. My four iron, I customized it a little bit more. I didn't like the purple fitting on it for distance and for a few other stats. So I changed the, I changed it from the purple to the blue. Uh, so just because I like the stats better, so that the, the grip is blue, the rest is the same. So as we take a look at the four iron, it carries 199. There is, on all my irons, I had the swing path fitting on the head, the timing on the shaft, and then for everything besides the four iron, I have a lie range one. Now that lie range one, it's because I like the stats that it gave, right? The stats are different for each one. So four iron, four iron 199 yards, 59 power, 100 timing, 88 swing path, 69 transition, 73 shaping and 77 lie range. Now the other irons, the only change is that lie range fitting. So my base irons are 59 power, 100 timing, 97 swing path, 62 transition, shaping 70, and then 82 lie range. Now, as you all can see, what is my main concern on hybrids and irons? Timing, right? My main concern on woods is timing as well. So timing and swing path are the key ones I spec into with my hybrids and irons. So the key takeaway for my golf bag is in going into week one is my inconsistency with my swing. If you're inconsistent with your swing, spec into timing, or, and if you're struggling with swing plane, spec into swing path, you know, spec into the ones you're struggling with, right? So as we take a look, five iron carries 187, six iron, 177, seven iron, 167, eight iron, 155, and then the pitching wedge, it has different fittings on it. So my pitching wedge, I have two swing path fittings on the head and grip and a timing fitting on the shaft. So my pitching wedge carries 139 with a power stat of 67, timing 95, swing path 100, transition 59, 78 shaping and 74 live range. These will just get better over time as we get more fittings as well. Uh, so these when my next updated golf bag video these could be so much better right yours might be so much better at this point in time going into the tgc tour season now as we go to wedges all my wedges are the same exact fittings minus the pitching wedge so the gap wedge sand wedge and lob wedge i have a timing head a timing grip as well and then we also have the shot shaping there in the middle the shaft so as we take a look at gap wedge, it carries 126 with a power stat of 68, timing 96, swing path 93, transition 68, shot shaping 79, lie range of 75. So they're all the same. The only difference is the carry distance. So it's gap wedge 126, sand wedge 113, lob wedge 98. But you can still see the key thing that I'm trying to get. Timing, swing path, and a little bit more shaping for my wedges to generate a little bit more spin and have a little bit more forgiveness when I'm shot shaping. We take a look at putter. We have two putt weight fittings. One is legendary, one is purple. And then the final one down there is swing path. This gives us a putter stat with swing path of plus three and putt weight of plus 20. So 76 and 90. I do pretty good with swing path. I struggle with putt weight. So that is the reason I go with a putt weight that's higher. So there you have it, everybody. I know a lot of people have been asking for this video. What clubs are you going to take into TGC Tours? What's the different stats on each and what's the differences? So I wanted to do a detailed video on that because I know a lot of you all from the competitive standpoint want to see that stuff. Uh, so there you have it. That is the golf bag I will be taking into the qualifying week one event and you all can watch my qualifying event go ahead and subscribe to the second channel be ready for my tgc tours rounds over there on the second channel they're longer videos which is why they're going to be over there uh, so i take my time i really focus on those rounds uh, so a little longer videos so you will see them over on gamer ability 2 including my true sim rounds as well you may see the finale on the main channel i haven't decided that but i think you're going to see every single one of them over on the second channel but i appreciate you all let me know your your golf bag down below do you like the hybrids or do you hate the hybrids what what some what are some key differences that are you you're using what's your archetype what skills do you like that i don't use and i appreciate you all drop a like if you got some enjoyment subscribe if you want to see more and i will see you in the next one as always have a fantastic day everybody